Archangel Gabriel's Daily Messages, May 18-24, 2014. We often encourage you to be true to yourself, to allow your own unique and special light to shine in order to have an authentic experience. But did you know this is also so you can be of the highest service possible? Dear ones, let us suppose that you love music, but you were always discouraged by your loved ones to pursue that path because it was, in their opinion, too hard, too competitive, too difficult to make enough money to live. That opinion would be exactly right for them and their own unique life expression. But what if your divine service was to share your music with the world? What if that was your sacred gift, your purpose? By denying it, you would find yourself never quite feeling comfortable or satisfied because you would always feel like something was missing, or that you could have done more. Being you, brightly shining you, is the greatest gift you can give the world. Know that you, only you, are the expert of your own life expression. Let your beauty, your interests, your passions lead the way. It is being of the greatest service to others and yourself, to do so. So many humans identify themselves through their old wounds and traumas. Even your society has labels for you based on your old stories, divorced, abused, cancer survivor, to name a few. We are not for a second saying you should deny your experiences. But we do encourage you to have the experience, and once it has served its purpose, let it go and create yourselves anew. How many of you are allowing your old painful experiences to color the blank canvas of your now? What if, instead of waving the flag of woundedness, you started waving the flag of wellness? Of wholeness? Of divinity? How different your now moments would start to feel and how beautifully you would pave the way for your tomorrows. Don't hang on to those old wounds out of habit, dear ones. They are not you, so do not give them the power to dull your brilliance, your beauty, your wellness, your divinity. Again we wish to remind you that both perceived movement and lull periods are part of the entirety of the flow. If you find yourself in a phase of little movement, do not despair. The most progress is always made behind the scenes as the universe moves things into alignment with you. Embrace the lull for the gift that it is, a time to rest, reflect, rejuvenate, and spend time in activities that you normally don't have time for. If you use the lull as the wonderful opportunity to catch your breath as it is meant to be, you will be well rested and poised for action when movement shows itself again in your physical awareness. This is part of the balance of the universe, to provide both periods of action and periods of rest as loving support for you, the ground crew, on an ascending planet. You might consider lulls and movement as the passing of the baton between you and the universe in the relay of co-creation. Think of running a relay race. Everyone is on the same team, with the same intention. You are all in agreement of your goal, and are all excited to be working together. You are simply taking turns on the action part of the journey. When another member of your team has the baton, you know they are handling the accelerated movement of that leg of the event. You have a chance to rest but stay poised and ready, just waiting for when it is your turn to launch yourself back into accelerated movement. If you have handed off the baton to another member of the team and they are running an area of the track you cannot see, you do not give up. You do not fall into despair or pack up and go home. You stay focused with the complete assurance that they will come back into your awareness as fast as they can. Do you see? Let the universe take the baton and make great progress for you. Know that you are never creating alone, but always part of a greater universe that is always cooperating to help you reach your goals. Keep your focus, your trust, your faith and you will harness the gifts of both the low periods and the flow, and co-create with greater ease, joy and excitement. Dear ones, lulls and movement are the way of your planet. Your day involves your waking period, the action phase, and a sleep period, the lull phase. The school year, is broken up into periods of intensive study followed by a lull where you enjoy a holiday. Your work week typically involves a period of action, followed by a day or two of rest. The tide goes in, the tide goes out, giving the shore a low period. Even during childbirth, 
you have periods of lull between accelerated movement. The point we are trying to make is this. If you find yourself in a lull period, you are not doing something wrong. This is one of the times humans tend to start to doubt themselves, to lose their faith, their trust, their focus. A lull in no way indicates a loss of progress. Quite the contrary. A lull is a sure sign you are working and creating with the natural movement of the universe. How do you know you're in a lull and not just stuck? If your intention is one of surrender, you will know you are just fine, exactly where you are. If you were to wake up, every day, and surrender to being of your highest service, you would be choosing to live your day from a place of alignment, love and unity. You would find yourself being presented with wonderful opportunities to make a difference, and you would have the peace of knowing that you had beautifully assisted the whole at the end of the day, regardless of how the day unfolded. Dear ones, service doesn't have to be grandiose to make a difference. In so many instances simply holding your highest vibration is the most profound and helpful thing you can do to support the whole. It is choosing to live in a heart-centered and loving way that brings magic and joy to all the things you do and experience. Dear ones, if you find yourself out of alignment with a topic that matters a great deal to you, you will feel fear, doubt, panic, powerlessness, angst, and worry, to name a few of the lower vibrating emotions. All of those things feel terrible to the you. But please know, what is feeling horrible is not the actual topic, but the fact that you are out of your alignment to do anything about it. If you are feeling any of those emotions, you must first realize that you are not in a space that can rectify your situation. So the first step to moving yourself out of a situation that is undesirable is to shift yourself into an energetic state that can actually do something about it. Anything that moves you into a better feeling space is good, but we recommend one of two things in particular. Putting yourself in a meditative state is highly recommended because it will automatically shift you into looking at your perceived problem from a higher viewpoint. You will be looking at it from your own space of authentic power if you are in the alignment of meditation. From there, you will very likely have a very different perspective and move into either a state of acceptance a state of expanded understanding, or a state of creation to move beyond it. The second recommendation we have is powerfully effective. If you are truly concerned about something and do not know how to move beyond it, surrender it. Surrender it to God, to Source, to Goddess, to your Higher Self, to Creator, to the Universe, to the Angels, to the Masters, to whoever you feel is the expanded and loving energy that exists for you. If you don't know what you believe, you can simply surrender to more. Surrender and let it be resolved. Do not play tug of war, dear ones, by giving it away and repeatedly taking it back. Surrender it and allow the loving supports that always exist for you to help you, in the most powerful and direct way, move you forward in the way that best honors you, for the highest good of all. It is a system that always works, it is simply up to you to use it. Archangel Gabriel. Channeled through Shelley Young. TrinityEsoterics.com